Let me show you how to correct your final stage magnetomic flux chillers. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, let's build it. Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Oselescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So here we go on another correction video for you Star Trek fans. And today we are going to look at the final stage magnetomic flux chillers. And for you non-Star Trek Franz Joseph Tech Manual type people, <laughs> it really boils down to this piece on the back of your warp engine. So when AMT made the warp engines, this is one half of one, of course, they put it in the mold like this and they curved it. So when they pulled this out of the mold, they pull it up this way out of the mold. So the the little chiller at the end, if you look at one, it's not coming in square like, like a box, like this, on the engine, right to the side. Let's say the engine side is here. It's supposed to be a straight up and down box like this, but AMT has put a piece in here to get it out of the mold, so it curves around like where my hand is. So we want to correct that on our model. And in order to do that, we need to go down to our bench and get some tools out. Here we are back down again on our workbench. And I happen to have an, a picture of the warp engines from the Franz Joseph Tech Manual, the main propulsion units. And as you can see, our chiller, final stage chiller, is square to the engine. And to further show this, they have this picture right here. And like I said in the introduction, our AMT kit is has a rounded curve. You can feel it here. So let's take a look at how to remove this curve and make the curve side flat, just like the other side here. And here we are once again down at our workbench. And we're going to use the narrow file here as well as our hobby saw, and I'm going to keep our sandpaper block close at hand. And really this isn't too much of a difficult type of task. We want to take our hobby saw and carefully saw down this way. <laughs> Which is difficult to go around the way I'm doing this here. Oh. Actually, if I remember correctly, we can take our file. Uh, trying to hold this around a tripod too. Take your file, actually, and square it up along here. You know, this way to the chiller. I'm using my thumb just as a area for the file to glide along. I'm just going to keep filing this until we get flat to the chiller. See, actually, this isn't quite a difficult procedure. There, so you notice this is a bit lumpy in here. But you can take your file and now file down the excess roll, going fairly flat to it. Notice that if you can see that. Yeah, it almost has a stepladder type effect going on in there with the file, which again is 
with a little determination and time, fairly easy to straighten up. Trying to do this in a way that I can both see it with my own eyes and that the camera can pick it up. There we go. Now I will try to correct this on the curve part. Going down this way with our sandpaper block. Number two cross sand. And now we're starting to starting to see that roll come out. Starting to see it look more square. So we'll just fiddle with this for a little bit and then I'll come back and show you the results. And there you have the final stage magmatomic flux chiller formed into a proper square as you can see with my shadow in the way there. And when you spray paint and finish your model, that's how it would look. So just like the real thing without the half barrel roll curve right in there. And that, as you could tell, was a very short video because it's a very short technique, but it sure does make the difference to your overall model. And don't be too worried about the plastic being thin, because if you look on this side, you know, you can see it indented right there. Uh, there is enough plastic material in that roll to actually remove, remove it without leaving a hole there. So I encourage you guys to try it out too. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobby's Let's Build It, where I got to show you how to fix a final stage magnetomic flux chillers. And... You can check out the other Star Trek models we have at our website, www.monster-hobbies.ca. And if you would like to make a contribution so I can continue making these excellent videos and presenting them to you, check out our uh, YouTube page. There's a little icon there that you can click. It's a PayPal icon, and it will lead you to the rest. And if you would like to see how we originally built the warp drive engines, please check out the video here. And if you would like to see how to add lights to the end of your warp engine, check out this video here. And also check out this other amazing video where we get to review the model kit itself. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right over here. And until next time, live long and prosper. And we'll look forward to seeing you on our next build.